this tutorial we're going to uh, look at how we carry out an underwater crayfish survey. If I just stop the video there you'll probably be able to make out we've got the underwater transect line, the tape measure, and we've got a stream of bubbles either side of that tape measure representing um, diver 1 and diver 2. So the technique we use here is to use our underwater meter stick um, to measure either side of the tape measure. So that's uh, a one meter stick. Now it's quite feasible that you could increase the length of those sticks to perhaps two, even two and a half meters. And they're really there just to ensure that you're not missing any of the ground covered. If we have a transect therefore that's uh, 50 meters long and we're measuring um, one meter either side so we've now got this belt transect of two meters that's going to cover an area of a hundred square meters of seabed 50 multiplied by two is a hundred square meters so just coming into view are our divers and you'll notice that the diver on the right hand side has with him his one meter stick and he's just going to place that alongside the uh, tape measure now. So there's the meter stick and the other diver is on the other side and they've got to actively look um, for crayfish in this environment. Now we don't want you to pick up and uh, measure the crayfish but we want you just to observe them and try and see what category of sizes the crayfish may fall into. You've probably been hunting for crayfish before or know people who have so you'll have a feel for what is a legal size crayfish and basically this is your datum point, this is the point at which you're comparing the others to. So if you see a crayfish which is clearly not legal in size then that would be sublegal or small if you have a really small crayfish, um, perhaps a, a, a juvenile which would fit in the palm of your hand, that would be an extra small. And then crayfish which are particularly good specimens, the large specimens, um, would fall into this category. So there are basically four categories of sizes here. So that very briefly describes how to carry out a crayfish survey.